All right, Route 104. Here we go, baby. I'm excited. Because we get a new encounter on this route. Show me some power. Show me some power. All right, when, you know, will we foreshadow in the Umbreon encounter? Will we foreshadow in the Umbreon encounter? Our encounter for Petalburg Woods is... <laughs> it's Magikarp, dude! What is powered, everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. Guys, thank you so much for choosing to support today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys are brand new to the channel. And of course, hit that subscribe button as it really does help out the series. And you guys really enjoyed the first episode and I'm so, so excited about to continue to record this. We got Cheese, our level 8 Raichu here, and we have Casper the Vaporeon. Now, guys, you're probably wondering why the hell does Raichu look a little bit poorly there? And of course, you see Casper's a little bit dark color if you guys are brand new you have no idea what is going on we've randomized everything in the game and we've also randomized the color palettes of the pokemon now i did manage to get my hands on the link for it i'll put it up in this video's description it's not in the first but it's in this one so if you guys want to play along and you also want to re-randomize the color palettes you can go ahead and do so i'll put the link to it down below in the description let's go ahead and jump right into today's episode so previous episode God, i don't know why i'm so excited for today's episode we went ahead uh, and we, we got our Raichu and we got our Casper. I remember that now. And then, I think we ran out of Pokeballs, didn't we? Because we went to capture the Mr. Mime, but the Mr. Mime looked like a little Umpa Lumpa, someone commented. <laughs> it looked great. Honestly, it looked great. But we've only got 180 Poke coins. What the hell is happening? Why are we so broke? <laughs> did, we, did we already buy Pokeballs? I'm not too sure. Yes, we did. Oh, my lord. I'm so stupid. Okay, so we already bought Pokeballs. We missed our encounter because it was a Mr. Mime on this route, wasn't it? It looked absolutely disgusting. Honestly, if you missed the first episode, you missed out on a bunch of stuff. Make sure to go ahead, click the link in the description. There's a playlist link. You can go ahead and watch the very first episode. Corsola, though, looking nice and blue. Is that blue? Is that green? Ah, my eyes are just deceiving me right now, aren't they? That's green. That has, that's green, right? Yeah, that's green. That's green. It definitely is green. We just one-shot that thing with an Iron Tail, which is dope. Cheese level 9, which I like. I like that. He's got an Ampharos. Now, if we remember, I should really be writing this stuff down, right? Because I need to remember the typings of the Pokemon. Let's go into Casper. And let's see what our little boy Casper can do. I don't think... I can't remember if I checked out his moves. I think I did, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got Aeroblast False Swipe, which is actually pretty dope to have. Uh, and he also has Spark. So let's fire off an Aeroblast. It's super effective. Ooh, Casper. All right, my boy. Goes for the weather ball. Ah, Casper's eating it up. 21 HP at level 3. This is just disgusting. You usually, you know, your starter Pokemon's normally, like, got 21 HP. Let's go ahead. 165 EXP, which is going to be absolutely brilliant for Casper there. That's going to fire him up to level 5. He's already at 28 HP. This is why... Oh, my lord. He's so broken. Jesus, down and out. Of course, my man, of course. All right, let's take a look. You there, sir. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the grass. The grass goes up my nose. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wondering how the grass deal in your nose, that'd be so funny. That would be so funny. Let's battle this dude. Youngster Alan would like to battle. He's got a normal. Whoa, dude, that looks sick. I like the color on it. He looks, he's orange. That's dope. That's why, like, I'm, I'm really excited about this Let's Play, because I've not seen many people actually randomize. Like, I've seen people randomize a few Pokemon's color sp uh, palettes, but I've not seen some, but, like, you know, a, a Let's Play of everything randomized in the game. Porygon looks sick. I just wish, like, I, you could do this for, you know, different gen games. Because if I could have done this for Sun and Moon, like, just imagine how dope it would have looked in Sun and Moon if all the Pokemon color palettes were randomized. Because we had all the generations in one game, so we'd have more to choose from. That'd look sick. I want to pick up these two arm berries, because, you know, whenever I play through games, I don't know if you guys do this too, but whenever I play through these games, I never seem to pick up the berries. I, I don't know why, but they do come in clutch. Like, sometimes I've run out of paralyzed heals, or I've been in such a bad situation where I needed to, uh, and I've not had no berries or anything like that. So let me know down below in the comment section if you guys pick up the berries, and do you actually use them in the game? Because I'm quite interested. Because not a lot of people do. Cast for him. Oh, God. I'm excited to see what our next encounter is going to be, to be honest. I really am. 
We're almost level 10 as well, which is just wild. But like Raichu's abs like Raichu definitely was a good choice to start off. He's level 10. That's insane. He's got a Wisma. Um, I'm gonna go into Casper. I wanna get Casper because I wanna keep the levels around similar, you know, around the similar um type of leveling. Oh my god, Wisma looks ill! Oh my lord, Wisma, I am so sorry for what I've done to you. It looks like have you ever guys ever played Pokemon Snakewood? Like, it looks like something out of Pokemon Snakewood. Doesn't it? It looks like something out of Pokemon Snakewood. It looks so bad. It looks like decaying. I'm sorry, Wisma. <laughs> this game this game hasn't treated you right, has it? It really hasn't. Casper's level 6, which is nice. And now we have to go and make our way into Pedalburg City. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an item down here. A Glitter Mail. <laughs> Brilliant. Just what I love to find. Just what I love to find. Oh god, he's back! He's back! He's back! Cover your eyes, children! Cover your eyes! Oh god, get it off the screen! Get it off! God. He's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I, I feel so bad because Mr. Mime, as much as like he's such a meme, he's actually quite a decent Pokemon. Like, his special attack's alright, but he just looks so ugly in this game. It's, it's unreal. Apologize for all the Mr. Mime fans out there. I didn't want to do it to him, but sometimes it just be like that. It really be like that. All right, here we go. We're into Norman's gym. Hmm. What if he's in yellow? So you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. <laughs> well, thanks, Dad, I guess. Oh, I see you with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, yellow. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. And Wally just brounces in, having a, you know, a father and daughter moment. He just prouses in. Hmm, I see. Yellow, you heard right. Go with Wally and make sure it- oh, Dad! Why do I have to? He gets a Pokeball. That's crazy! He gives him a friggin' Pokeball and a Pokemon, but Dad didn't even give me a Pokemon. But he gives Wally one. I had to- I had to get my Pokemon from rescuing somebody. Come on, dude. That's just unfair, isn't it? That really is just unfair. Alright, let's see what Wally's gonna get. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Look at that Nido King! He got a Venusaur! Look at the color palette of the Pokemon, though! Oh dear god. He's got Dragon Breath. And he's paralyzed. Let's see. Okay, the, par the paralyzed thing didn't even show up. Goes for Shadow Punch. Is he actually gonna. Oh no, that's enough. What the hell? You throw a ball right now. No, you don't throw a Pokeball at this stage, Wally. You have to damage the Pokemon more. And you have what? Needle King, please break out. I've never actually seen Wally fail at this part. Break out, please. No, the game mechanics don't make it. God damn it. He just picks up a Needle King like that. Come on, dude. That look clutch. I did it, this is my Pokemon! <laughs> it's a badass Pokemon, I'll tell you that to start off with a Nido King. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, Mum's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Yellow. Alright. Have fun, kid. Here's my vibe. Head for Rusboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to the other gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too, and we'll battle one day, Yellow. But that's only after you become stronger. You know, it's pretty wild, like, the gyms, like, they must have the rules in the games where gym leaders, you know, like, if this were real life, it's it's crazy that, you know, they're limited to a certain level their Pokemon can get. Like, they can't necessarily train up the Pokemon that they have. And that's wild. Alright, Route 104, here we go, baby, I'm excited. Because we get a new encounter on this route. Show me some power, show me some power. The Spiro. I'll take it though because it is a randomizer and it is an extreme randomizer. So that Spiro right there could evolve into something pretty decent. Let's put the little guy to sleep. 
Put the little guy to sleep. I'm sorry, Spiro. Now, I think to be fair... Now, this Pokemon shouldn't have a high capture rate, so I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. If it doesn't capture it, I'm going to go into Casper and let Casper do some damage. But I have faith. I have faith! We have faith! There we go. Okay. Spiro was captured. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay. A tiny bird Pokemon. It's loud cry can be heard from over. Oh, yeah. I don't really care. Spiro. What do we call Spiro? What do we even call this thing? I don't know. I'm gonna call him Kevin. <laughs> Kevin the Spiro. Look at that. That's a beautiful nickname. Oh my lord. I should do this for a living, shouldn't I? Alright, let's take a look at Kevin. He's an electric Pokemon. We've got the keen eye ability. I don't understand why abilities aren't randomized in this game. He's got Karate Chop and Dragon Claw. Oh my lord. Okay, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. I see you. You really be out here. Let's see what else there was in the grass. It was Marowak. But the colors don't really look different. Do they? They really don't look different. But I want to heal up Kevin. Because I want to put Kevin... I don't even know what level Kevin... What level does friggin' Spearow evolve? Like 20? I know it's not super high. Because he's one of the starter birds. So, I know he doesn't evolve super high. But we'll train the little fellow up. And we'll see. Because we get another encounter in... Um, Petalberg Woods as well, which is dope. But there is a few trainers that I want to take on here. Now, Cheese is quite a high level at the minute. So, I'm going to put Casper and Kevin up front. I'll let these little guys get trained up. I'm pretty sure there's a few people I got a battle around here. Yeah, there's this guy running around. What up, homie? Living footprints in the sand is so fun! Yeah. Love doing that, dude. Freaking love doing that, man. Thanks to Billy. Hey, Billy! Look at Venusaur, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> that looks great. Um, I really wish I could have seen what type in this thing was. Okay, that hits it neutral. Needle arm. Now we eat that up for days, my boy. <laughs> He's got thunder! Oh my god. Come on, Casper. Oh, this is great. Goes for thunder. Okay, misses the thunder. Thank god. No, he might look bringing Casper would get bodied there. That's going to be some fat, juicy EXP. 222, that's what I like. Okay, Casper's level 7. Almost level 8. He's got a Marrow. Okay, I'm going to put Kevin up front. Kevin, you need to get some grinding done, my dude. Can't be out here. Yeah. Look at my little Kevin. Oh, God, Marrow. What have they done? Let's Dragon Claw it. <laughs> a Spiro with Dragon Claw. You saw it here first. Goes through the aromatherapy. Well, as much as I love flowers, it ain't really going to do too much for you. So, if that's not super effective, go for the karate. Ah, oh, he's... Oh, God damn it! okay. Calls for revenge. Kevin! No! Come back! I ain't losing you, Kevin. I've got my faith in you, homie. I ain't losing you. Alright, goes for the aromatherapy. Let's stop using this move. Stop using the move. Alright, let's go Iron Tail. It's gotta be a one shot. Has to be. No, it isn't. God damn it, I'm lying again. <laughs> this is gonna lower his defense though, which is alright. Goes for smoke screen. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm bored of this battle. Just kill this thing, please. Nature power, turn into earthquake. It doesn't affect because he's flying. Stop with this! Hey, oh, he goes for aromatherapy again. Jesus Christ. Meryl, I ain't a fan. I ain't a fan. Alright? Iron tail it again, cheese. There we go. God damn. I swear to god, if Meryl's my next encounter, I'm absolutely gonna lose my mind. It seems such a trash, mon. Jesus Christ. Aromatherapy? Smokescreen? Nah, dude. I fished up a dove's lucky Pokemon. It has a magical quality to it. It's gonna be a legend, isn't it? It's randomized to a legend. You gotta be a legend, aren't you? You gotta be a legend, I know it. Ah, oh, it's got a wish cash. What? Wish cash looks great! Holy crap, he looks so much better than what he usually does. 
All right, Spock it. It's level 9 as well. He's super effective. That's dope. Sacred Fire. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, Casper. Let's give you a potion. Because of torment. Okay. Bro, look at the wish cast, though. He looks great. Let's go for Spark again. Oh, I can't use it to torment. Christian, you're supposed to be a top tier nose locker, dude. I did nothing. I really did nothing. Okay, so we know Electric's not super effective. We have to be careful of the Sacred Fire, though. So this needs to kill. It doesn't kill. It didn't kill. You went for Sacred Fire, no Casper. Don't do this to me, my boy. Don't do this to me. Oh, my God. No, he's burned. Casper, no, Casper, no, Casper, no. Ah, oh, damn it, Casper, why? I had to be careful of the Sacred Fire. I had to be careful of the Sacred Fire. I had to be. No, Ke no I can't go into Kevin. Oh, my God. I just wanted Casper to get some EXP from his stupid wish cash. God damn it. I'm sorry. There was someone in my comment section I remember who was like, yo, I'm in love with Vaporeon. I'm so sorry, dude. I am so sorry. I should have potioned back up, shouldn't I? God damn it. The sea, I don't, I don't care what it looks like at the bottom of the sea. It's literally just empty, okay? It's just rocks and stupid fish. God damn it, dude. Freaking sacred fire, wish cash? What the hell? Is that profanity, my dude? Okay, Vaporeon, I'm so sorry, dude. I am so sorry, dude. I actually, um, like, I'm actually really upset that we lost Vaporeon. It was such a great mod. The only thing that can make this better is if we go into Petalburg Woods and we find an Umbreon. Okay? That's the only thing that could possibly put you know, a smile back on my face. Or I'm just going to record the rest of the episode like this. Just hecking depressed. Hecking depressed, dude. There was a dragon out here! He's blue! What? He looks cool as hell! And I get a friggin' Spiro and there's a dragon eye in here? Dragon Claw? He's actually still a dragon type. That's crazy. Because of frustration. Yeah, I, I'd be mad as well, dude. Kevin! Kill this thing. Dry oh my god, kill this thing. Yes, there's a crit. Okay, now, Kevin, you're gonna get some decent EXP. Oh god, Kevin, you're on... I got 124 EXP from a Dragonite. From a Dragonite, dude. Bro, that Dragonite looked clutch as hell. All blue and stuff? That look dope. Thumbnail. How you doing? Alright, some freaking berries, dude. I, I love berries, man. I love them. Pick up these two orange berries. Freaking love berries, dude. Alright, we found two peach berries. Let's pick these up. Let's get our encounter for Viridium... Uh, freaking Viridium Forest. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, you turn away because I don't want to battle you. I want to get my encounter, then I'm going to come back out and battle you, okay? The Mighty Yenna, though. Oh my lord, he looks cool. There's a dark blue vibe I got going on. I like it. It's got Intimidate still. Okay. I like it. Got away safely. Okay. All right. When, you know, will we foreshadow in the Umbreon encounter? Will we foreshadow in the Umbreon encounter? Our encounter for Petalburg Woods is... <laughs> it's Magikarp, dude. It's Godcarp. Look at the colors. It's Magikarp, dude. I'll take it. I will 100% take it. I will take the Magikarp. I'm actually... You know what sucks, though? Is, like, I'm such a huge fan of Gyarados as a Pokemon. And... It's... Secret power. It's just, like... I'm not gonna be able to get... I would, like... Oh, my God. I thought I was gonna kill it. I thought I was gonna kill it. Okay. Kevin! No, stop. Come on, dude. All right, let's go cheese. We need to capture this magic up 100%. 
There was someone in the comment section, I remember last episode, saying, if Magikarp doesn't evolve into, like, a Rayquaza, then this whole series is going to be a flop. This is our moment. Can Magikarp actually evolve into a Rayquaza? Magikarp? I'm going to have to ask you to stop. Miss Grass Whistle. I'd rather have Spore. Give me Spore. Was Spore like Gen 4? I can't remember. But this magic app dude, he needs to go on our team. 100%. He needs to go on the team. I hate missing out on you, my friend. I hate missing out on you. Go to the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball, magic app. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. All right, Magic Eye was caught. Add to the team, add to the layout. I'm actually really excited about that. I'm happy about that. Magic Eye, young Hoshikage. What's popping, homie? Hosh. Ikage. Hoshikage, my boy. Look at the Magic Eye, though. He's ground dark. It's all right. He's only got secret power. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Ooh. We poisoned, but you know what? When we were poisoned, what did I say? Do we have an antidote? No, we don't have an antidote. But what do we have? We have a friggin' peach berry. That's why we pick up those berries, people. That is why we pick up those berries. God, I'm so smart sometimes. It's unreal. We are going to go ahead and get up an hour of today's episode of the Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, make sure to go ahead and show some love to the thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe if you guys are new. I know I blab on it about it a lot, but it really does help out the series. 100 likes guarantees a brand new episode tomorrow. Super simple to do, and it really does help us out. Guys, I'm going to get up on out of the day, but remember to go ahead and check out the first episode if you did miss it. Remember to be nice to each other. Don't text and drive. I've been Fanny Tech. You've been amazing as always, and I'll see you guys back in a brand new episode tomorrow. Bye!